Hi, I'm John Bollinger. This is an introductory video to get you going with the Bollinger Band Toolkit for Ninja Trader 7. I'm assuming that you have already downloaded the toolkit from our website and imported it using the file utilities import ninja script menu. So we'll get right to building a chart. So we come up here and highlight new and click on chart. The stock we're going to use today is Twitter. Its symbol is TWTR. So we enter the symbol, click New. And the first thing we're going to do is set our chart style. So we come over here and highlight candlestick to get the drop down menu and choose Bollinger Bars. And we click OK. So here we have a basic price chart using Bollinger Bars. The key here is that Bollinger Bars highlight the important relationship between the open and the close. When the close is higher than the open, that portion of the bar is colored green. When the close is lower than the open, that portion of the bar is colored red. Now we're going to add a couple of indicators so that we can analyze this top that we see built in Twitter. We come over here and click on Indicators. All the tools in the Bollinger Band Toolkit begin with BBTK. The first thing we're going to do is add Bollinger Bands. So we highlight it and click New. Then we're going to add the two classic Bollinger Band indicators, percent %B, which tells us where we are in relation to the Bollinger Bands, and Bandwidth, which tells us how wide the bands are. Bandwidth is up here. We highlight that and click New, and then we click OK. And we have the classic Bollinger Band chart, a price clip with Bollinger Bands to define whether price is high or low on a relative basis, percent %B to tell us where we are in relation to the Bollinger Bands, and bandwidth to tell us how wide the bands are. The area that we're looking at at this top, this pattern is called three pushes to a high. We see on the first push, it's easy to get outside the upper band. The second push barely gets to the upper band, and the third push fails completely. So we have three lower peaks in percent %B. What we look for is bandwidth to turn down on the second peak, and that's exactly what we have here. So this is a classic three pushes to a high pattern defined by Bollinger Bands, a series of lower peaks in percent B, and bandwidth turning down on the second peak. Thanks so much for spending some time with me today. I hope you enjoy the power of the Bollinger Band Toolkit and that your trading goes well.